Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I will be using um, Blender and Sonic Pi, and there's a um, Python module called Mido. And with Python uh, module called Mido, you can actually uh, talk to Sonic Pi um, using its um, MIDI um, kind of control. Um, so I'll I'll show you it. Um, this is Sonic Pi, and then in inside the preference for I/O, there is um, this OSC, and also there's the MIDI MIDI system. And currently, the MIDI is showing that there is a this a uh, network session two and network session three, kind of uh, running in the background. So I'm using Mac, and with Mac, uh, you can easily kind of uh, like plug in uh, like a MIDI. And let's say I, I have also my iPhone and iPad here, and I have a few apps that's kind of can send a MIDI, MIDI kind of message into Sonic Pi. So, so that's the the whole setup right there. And I will be using Blender, and inside Blender, since it's a, it has built-in Python, we can send a MIDI message into Sonic Pi. So hopefully this one works, um, kind of almost like in real time. So I'm gonna stop uh, everything inside Sonic Pi and then just gonna run this just super simple live loop. So this is um, this is written in Ruby and Ruby language is just basically running this simple live loop called MIDI piano and these objects or these functions will be listening to outside message. I'll I'll just gonna run it. So now it is listening. So the Sonic Pi is listening to any kind of message, so you can use like a normal like a standard Python or in this case I'm I'm gonna be using Blender. And so we have the audio MIDI setup already running. Currently I have session two and session three. Session two is actually listening to um, this my computer. So this my MacBook is talking to itself, kind of sending message to all the apps that's running. Okay, so let's get started. And at some point, other than using Python, I will also be using um, animation nodes. So, so let's get to it. I'm just gonna copy paste this uh, Python code, but I will be using um, Python console for a start. So this little script, um, I have two actually two main functions. The one at the bottom actually allows you to just load any kind of MIDI and sending it into Sonic Pi. Um, so yeah, like I said, the, the module is called Mido, and we simply import import the module like this, import Mido, and this module if we there, uh, there Mido, we can see there's a, a lot of functions here. There's a good documentation on this module as well online. I'm I'm not gonna show it to you uh, now, but I will just run a simple a simple command. So port equal middle open output, and for the port I will be using network session two. That's the name of the MIDI port. This is actually something new that I just learned earlier today. So with the port the MIDI port opens, we can send a message into it, just like an um, OSC message, but the MIDI MIDI has a certain kind of a system already, so it, it is actually uh, quite uh, interesting and simpler in a way. So I will be, with this uh, command, I will be sending a note, and let's say we are sending a note 100. Uh, invalid syntax, okay, message called not on, okay, it should be like that. And we can see the message is uh, called not on channel 0, notes 100, velocity 64, that's the default. If we send this message into the port, we should be getting a sound. Uh, from here. So if I run this, I think it's already running. Uh, 
There you go. Uh, so there is a message coming in, and there's a slight delay because I'm recording. It's it's like it's probably like ten times slower. But you can see, uh, you can hear that very small noise. Let's make it note eighty, and send it again. Port. Just type it uh, instead of copy and pasting. I will be type it send message ah, okay or send message and should be sending it here there you go that's the sound so there's a slight delay there but anyhow this is like if you are doing it line by line uh, in python uh, using python console but if you want to do it properly you need to have like a like a text right something like this and then uh, what would be nice is that if we simply can use animation nodes to to send nodes uh, and message uh, so let's build it from scratch anyhow uh, I have the one that's already working but I'll, I'll quickly build from scratch so the script if we if you try running this script I think this should uh, should actually work if I try so the idea here is that we can type our our own notes and then for every frame update it will send it to Sonic Pi to create a sound um, let's try this one actually my notes equal this list and the port is still the same and make sure you have middle module already and don't worry about the ones at the bottom for now so port is already open my notes this is the list of nodes for example and then you can do something like this for node in my notes the message will be middle dot message note on and the notes coming from here notes and then send the mess send the notes and do actually a uh, sleep for let's try point zero let's try this so that seems to be working and uh, let me try again One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty-four, seventy-seven, forty-four. Yeah, I think it's it is uh, working. Uh, it's just sending the message too fast. I think. So there's a bit of delay from Blender into Sonic Pi, but basically it is uh, it is working. So that's if you are sending like a lot of message at the same time, um, but I think I'm just gonna open it. Um, no, I'll, I'll build it, build from scratch. So animation notes, create a script node, and turn off always, turn on this uh, frame change, etc. And we're gonna be using. Um, this text and the notes will be coming from outside so we don't need this we're gonna just collapse this the message so this is the script I just source it and for the input we're gonna be using a float this is gonna be the note and script this is going to be mid, middle send midi okay that's a uh, thing should be working the data data byte must be integer okay so it is expecting it is actually expecting um, an integer 
integer call it node let's say 70 80 so now animation nodes actually talking to sonic part using a middle module so whatever i am typing here if it's a so there's a slight delay but uh, you can see the message actually coming in into sonic pi 70 80 99 77 so so yeah this is the basic idea basically um, you can now use like a number random number and let's see let's make this just updates whenever there is a frame change and here if I plug this into the node um, before I do that let's make it between 60 and 85 so this is gonna generate a random number let's use a viewer and now if I update it's just sending uh, this uh, 69 point 3869 okay so let's update it for every frame so there's delay because I'm recording but it's actually almost like in real time um, so this is the basic I'm gonna save it real quick an middle sonic pi 001 and there's also a setup that I already have this one With this guy right here, I have, um, oh, there's a lot of complexity going on. But basically, the, this setup is controlling um, Susan head and also sending the message just like before. But ex instead of uh, just a single note, I have this uh, list of MIDI notes that's already uh, being generated using animation notes. There's this uh, random slip uh, for for this uh, for this um, script note. So the slip time is will be different per melody. But if I let me try to run it, maybe it's kind of too slow if because I'm recording. But this is like 14 notes sending message into Sonic Pi every frame update, and it's probably a little bit heavy. I should slow it down like maybe like one frame per second and I'll make it super super slow and even make this even slower for the sleep time let's run it again so every frame tick it is sending this uh, MIDI not on message into Sonic Pi and it's supposed to be playing some sound. Let me stop this. Probably it's too, too slow somehow. Yeah, well, probably too slow, but I'll, I'll try to run uh, one more thing. Um, I'll give you this setup, uh, this blend files. Instead of uh, sending message one by one, I will show you that we can also just use our own um, like a MIDI. I, I download this example. It's a maybe. Let's see if you can recognize it. But I will play this anyhow. So the file is called Duck Tales 2017. Maybe you recognize this um, this song. And I will be using it maybe to drive Suzanne and let's try playing it. It's probably not gonna work because my computer is too slow. Anyhow, let's try. Run the script. So this is from inside Blender sending this message into Sonic Pi. Oh, Python failed. So what's going on? There's a failed message. BPY is not defined. 
pin for PPY. Forgot that. Run the script and look at the message coming in into SonicPy. This is actually a song <coughs> DuckTales coming in and there's uh, this we can see inside here audio MIDI setup. There is a uh, a lot of message coming in but there's a, like a, a lots of uh, latency a lot of delay that's why we get we are getting this red color uh, like really like a lot this is actually running in real time if i if i'm not uh, recording so well um, i guess it's not gonna work this way but you can try you can try this uh, this command make sure that you actually install middle module first um, even if you are like just like a beginner Python coders, this code allows you to load um, any kind of MIDI and then send it into Sonic Pi. And if Sonic Pi, with Sonic Pi you can have like a multiple channel, um, and then you can you can change the sound on the fly and then changing a lot of things on the fly. It is actually really, really cool. Oh, actually the the music is already stopped right now and then. Or is it is still coming? Yeah, I think the music is already stopped. Uh, maybe I can delete everything and let's see how it goes. If I just run the script once again, message coming in. I'll I'll stop. Oops. I'll restart Sonic Pi. Stop it and then run it again. Yeah, it's still, still too slow uh, to run while recording. But anyhow, you got the idea. This is supposed to play um, this uh, DuckTales soundtrack. But anyhow, that's pretty much it for this live loading. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot hear to this soundtrack, uh, my favorite. Uh, but anyhow, that's the whole basic setup for MIDI. MIDI and OSC are really powerful if you're if you like um, to do this kind of um, uh, procedural music creations, so using Blender, you can make it uh, so Blender can talk into Sonic Pi to generate sound, um, while at the same time, uh, at the same time, this um, you you are also able to procedurally animate um, any kind of objects in the scene. Um, it is not not easy because it's like a lot of. Uh, a lot of things at the same time you can you need to take care about a MIDI channel and you have a lot of notes coming in a lot of imagine like um, a note is like a, an action you need to send that as well and then you have to kind of think about um, um, so sort the of channel then MIDI notes and then all kind of a MIDI layers that might be happening at the same time and all really really quickly happening so it's almost like a, an animations and a lot of animation layer happening many um, at the same times so yeah and then I'll, you also need to think about the time and all that so it's kind of tricky and once someone create a setup that actually simple enough uh, uh, for you uh, we can actually play around with this again I'll try to do it but there's also there's another guy uh, Clockmender Clockmender on uh, he talks uh, a couple of times at Animation Nodes um, GitHub and he's also experimenting with this uh, MIDI and OSC. I think with the MIDI he managed to create this uh, procedural animations using Animation Nodes. It's really really cool and uh, let's take a look uh, at some point uh, his setup but for now it's, this is uh, my my setup using Blender um, Mido module in Python and to talk to Sonic Pi. Sorry, my computer is too slow, but uh, at some point I'll try to use uh, two computer and see if we can get uh, real-time performance. So thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.